On April 16th, a request came in to help the School of Public Health. Some of their faculty had been advising public health officials and the governor about the state of community transmission of COVID. Could we help them make a continuously updating dashboard? A private version for health officials and a public version that would help the public understand reasons for the health officials' risk assessments. Sure, that'd be a great way for the School of Information to contribute in the pandemic. Oh, and uh, we need it within two weeks because that's when the stay-at-home order is due to expire. So I asked our faculty to nominate students and alums to join a crack team, and away we went. The two-hour timeline turned out to be a little bit like Gilligan's three-hour tour. We launched sometime in week six, and at week 12, this is what our Trello board looks like. And this is what the public website looks like right now. On the left, we have a map of the state of Michigan that shows the different risk levels for the regions. By selecting a region or selecting something from the dropdown, you can actually see the county level insights within. On the right hand side, we have different indicators for different data for this area as well. Within each dropdown, there is a graph that charts this data over time as well with thresholds that show the risk level associated with that data. At the top, we have a date slider that will let you actually look back at the previous history of the data over the past few months for the pandemic. It will actually change the data within the indicators as well as on the map. We also have a private version of the website, which is for public health officials. It's mainly the same, but a couple of features that are different are the ability to exclude or include different types of data, as well as a new compare feature that we're building out. Of course, this isn't exactly what was envisioned at the beginning. It emerged. As you can see, over the course of the project, needs changed. We adapted to make the most user-informed version as possible that would fit the needs of both the public, public health advisors, and government officials. In addition, one important thing we came to realize is that ad hoc decision-making tools were a guide to what we should do, but we knew we could try to make them even better. This has been an amazing experience for me. We work in an agile environment, so things get done really fast, and the people I'm working with are super talented. So we're designing things and implementing them within a week or two. And it's just amazing to see the impact you can have when you're that focused and that dedicated to a cause. The biggest takeaway for me while working on this project is the importance of process. Working with people uh, across so many other sub teams has shown me the importance of process. Being able to participate on daily standups to know what other sub teams are up to, as well as you being able to tell other sub teams what, you, what your sub team has been doing, um, is a really great way to keep the pace up while working on such an important fast paced project. One of the main challenges that we had was to build a strong indicator to track cases evolution. In the context of a pandemic, traditional monitoring standards such as cumulative weekly trends may hide spikes of cases that would require immediate attention. Additionally, when we have a small number of cases to report, the data fluctuates a lot, which can add noise to your reporting. We factored these challenges in our code to help public health professionals quickly access the right information to support their decision. One of my biggest goals in life, um, one of my core values is to just help as many people as I possibly can. And um, often when I'm trying to do that, it's, um, it's two things I'm doing every day at work, but it's hard to see how that's helping people um, immediately. It usually takes months or years to see the effect of, of something I'm doing to help someone. But with this project, um, we launched it and had folks looking at the dashboard within a day. And it was, I think it was up at 80,000 people, which is just wild to think about. My Start Map dashboard has been incredibly valuable in tracking and responding to the pandemic. It's being used to inform decision making by Michigan public health officials from local to state level. We use the dashboard every day when we're talking with public health officials about epidemiological data and trying to understand the picture of disease risk across the state. One of my takeaways from this project is that having a great UX team to codify user requirements, design wireframes, and conduct user tests is at least as important as having a great software development team. So beef up the human-computer interaction component of your curriculum. Working with an all-star cast of students, alums, and faculty was a great experience for me. It renewed my faith in the curriculum of my school. If you're a faculty member and you ever get a chance to jump into an integrative project like this with an outside client, I'd highly recommend it.